let me tell you a story. And this story is going to be about a fantasy world where amps and DACs for your headphones were expensive. In this world, you had to spend 5,000 bucks to get a stack that would be passable just to listen to your music that you want to listen to on your headphones. Well, that fantasy world doesn't exist because in the real world, you can get things like this. This is the topping D50S. This guy's 250 bucks. And you know what? When you mount this with the A50S, which is the amplifier from topping, and it matches it's the, exactly the, the same size and the same width and everything, you get an amazing technology stack that sounds as good as, I don't know, $10,000 DAC. $10,000 amp. I mean, really, it, it, it's good. And it, it's crazy how good something this small and this inexpensive can be. But today, we're going to talk about a world where you can get this device and the mate to go along with it and have an amazing experience. So here you go. A50S, D50S, amp and DAC. Uh, Put them together. They look kind of like this. Um, these are spectacular units. I mean, they, they, they're like little bricks. They weigh a lot. I don't know, a couple of pounds or something. I mean, they're, they're super heavy and super small and sound super good. Uh, now, what do you do with these things, you might ask? Well, typically, you're going to use these two together for headphones, right? So you'll have a source and it'll plug in. And uh, you know what? what? Why don't I just show you how you hook this stuff up right now for headphones? So let's, let's just jump right into that. Setting up the D50S, the DAC, along with the A50S, which is the headphone amplifier, is really, really easy and straightforward. So assume that you have a source sitting out on this side that's outputting digital in some way, right? And this box can take uh, coax, it can take optical, or it can take USB. In this case, we've got an optical cable. Well. Just slide this right in, somehow or another. There we go. Um, and uh, at this point, you've got your feed coming in from your outside source device. I like to use Rune, um, a Rune endpoint for this, but whatever it might be, uh, will we'll get you connected. Now, from here, this will go ahead and do the digital to analog conversion. So the digital information coming in on this cable is then going to be sent out by your regular analog left and right RCA cables. So you'll take some handy dandy RCAs, plug in here, and now you've got a analog low level output that you need to add some power to. On the back of this A50S, you've got a set of inputs and a set of outputs. You wanna connect these into your inputs, make sure all your colors match. And from there, you've got a really good chain from your digital source input all the way to powered output. The last piece of this puzzle is to connect a set of headphones into the front jack of the amplifier. Now that you know how to hook this stuff up, that's what you typically would use this stuff for. Now, you can take this DAC and you can use this with a full stack of two channel equipment and it's amazing. Maybe you've got a Rune Bridge uh, that doesn't have a DAC built in and you need something awesome. This is the one. Um, and it sounds absolutely spectacular, but you know, let's stay focused a little bit on the, the headphone stuff today, since we're going to be in headphone land. Now, um, you know, what are the features of these you ask? Well, let's go ahead and look at those as well. The D50S has a lot going on. So to get started with the physicals, it's 11.9 centimeters by 11 centimeters. So not quite a square, but almost, and it's 2.6 centimeters tall. Uh, the weight is 510 grams, and that's just a little over a pound uh, for those keeping score. On the input side of the house, you got a lot of stuff going on. So it can take USB, and that supports up to 768.32 and DSD 512, coax input at 192.24, DSD 64, and optical of 192.24, DSD 64 as well. The D50S can be configured as a straight DAC, or you can use it as a preamplifier with volume control. And it's got a handy, nifty remote control that really makes that functional. 
One feature that you might really appreciate if you're really a no wires kind of person is Bluetooth 5.0 compatibility. The system is powered by two ESS DACs, the ES9038Q2Ms. For op amps, the unit sports two OPA1612 Sound Plus and a single LME49720. Now, these can be changed if you're deep into the DIY scene uh, to really customize this to your own taste. Contributing to the weight that I called out before, this thing's made out of two pieces of aluminum. You've got the bottom piece where everything connects and then a top plate that goes on it. So it's really, really nice. Rounding things out with a final set of specs, um, THD is less than 0.0003% at one kilohertz and uh, signal to noise ratio uh, A-weighted is greater than 122 decibels at one kilohertz. Specs on the A50S are pretty straightforward. It can be used as a headphone app or as a preamp. It does have a volume control. It has two headphone outputs on the front. It's got a 6.35 millimeter headphone jack and a 4.4 millimeter balanced headphone jack. Maximum output power is 3,500 milliwatts times two and THD is less than 0.00007%. The unit is the same size as the D50S and approximately the same weight. Now let's focus on the DAC. Um, few things, uh, op amps are upgradable on this guy. Four screws on the bottom, take them out, pop it in, good to go. Um, and that's kind of a nice touch uh, because you know at this price point, they're not gonna put the best stuff in here, but the stuff in here is good. I mean, this, this thing just as it is, sounds absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I've got the E30 that is kind of my workhorse stack and it's 130 bucks. So this is about twice as much. <laughs> it's about twice as heavy as that DAC too. And it's also got a remote control or rather a, a joystick on the front. It's got a remote as well. Um, but you know, this thing I think outperforms the E30 a bit in sound but also this has got Bluetooth, so you can use it to connect to a phone or some other device. Um, so you don't have to cable stuff up if you don't necessarily want to. Now, I still would say use this with some kind of wired thing and you know, you can use it with the optical or the uh, coax or whatever else that you want to use to plug it in the USB. Um, but you know, I, I really enjoy the sound of this thing. And man, at $250, especially if you do the op amp upgrade in this thing, I mean, I would challenge most anybody to really buy something, you know, at the multi-thousand price point with jitter control external units and really be able to tell any difference between that and this. I mean, this thing is that good. Now, that's enough about the DAC. Let's go ahead and jump in to this amplifier now. Um, you know, this is super straightforward. And what do you need this for? Well. <laughs> You need this to push headphones that are harder to push. Uh, so if you get a set of uh, Hi-Fi Man, high-end, expensive planar magnetic or magnetic planar headphones, you'll you'll want this, right? Um, it's got a nice knob on the front and it will provide all the power that you need uh, to power those headphones. Um, one thing to note is on both of these guys actually, uh, RCAs. Can you see that? I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to focus for you. RCAs as opposed to XLR. Now, do you need XLR? Some people would say yes, but you know what? I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty happy with the way they sound. Now the, the amp is fully balanced, but you know, obviously RCAs are, are RCAs and they have the single conductor in there instead of the three popping out. So will you notice a difference? No, I don't, I don't think there's anybody that would be able to tell the difference between uh, XLR connection and RCA connection on this. Now, is it easier to connect your XLRs into uh, all your other equipment? Maybe, um, you know, for some folks, uh, but you know, at the size of these things, I mean, they're just that big, it, it's kind of hard to get those XLRs in there. Now, like SMSL has the SU9, I think it is, that's fully balanced to XLR. Uh, and then there are step up models on the topping side of the house too, that also have uh, those XLR connections. And you know, maybe if that's your thing, you'll want to go with something more expensive, but I would say for the money, you know, you get into this stack for what, 500 bucks or whatever, uh, go to apost.audio and check it out and you can see exactly how much it costs. Um, and thanks to those guys for sending these over for review and for this video, I appreciate it. Um, I, I think for the money, you can't do better than this really. I mean, you, you just, 
you can. I mean, these things are, are freaking amazing. And for, well, let's talk about the DAC a little bit more because the, the amp is, is the amp and the amp's great and, and it does what an amp does. Um, the DAC is where the more technology lives and that's a little bit more interesting to, to talk about and you need to understand some stuff there. So why, why is it $250 as compared to the $130 on the E30? Well, it's heavier. <laughs> is that worth 120 bucks or whatever? Um, probably not, but Bluetooth is a big deal. Um, op amp upgradable, I don't know if the E30 is or not. Um, if, if you know, please comment down below if that E30 is upgradable. And man, the E30 sounds awesome. Um, and, and this one is just a little, a little bit better. Uh, is it that big of a deal though better? I'm not sure. Now, so if you wanna go budget, get that E30. I mean, the topping E30, that is the budget leader. But if you want to step up, and especially if you need Bluetooth connectivity and you want to be able to just Bluetooth your phone into this thing, absolutely all the way go for this guy. Um, you know, right on the back of this guy here, it's got a little antenna you plug in and you saw that already, super cool. Um, so the other thing I wanna mention about the DAC is it has different filter modes. And this is the same thing as you'll find on a bunch of different DACs. And uh, you know, I've tried to listen for these and I can't tell a difference. And you know, I've listened to other people's reviews, they can't tell a difference either. So I don't really know exactly what's going on because my ears can't hear it. Uh, maybe it's stuff over 20,000 hertz. I, I don't know. But I mean, tonally, uh, volume, I would just, there's no difference. I can just go through all the, the modes and, and I can't tell. So um, if, uh, if you can, <laughs> let me know down below uh, because uh, hopefully I'm not broken, but I think my ears are still working okay. So uh, I guess that sums up my thoughts around this particular amplifier and DAC set. I mean, it's small. It sounds wonderful, it's inexpensive, it does everything you need it to do, and it's got wireless with Bluetooth. Uh, if you wanna use that DAC in a two-channel stack, I mean, absolutely. Get something that you can point Rune toward, that can uh, digital out into the stack and then send that to your preamp, and you're going to have an absolutely spectacular environment to listen to, it's gonna sound great. All right, folks, uh, thank you so much for listening. Make sure to like and subscribe, ring the bell, drop the comments down below, and hallelujah, thank the Lord that you're here watching my video. Oh, and as I always say, thank you so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video.